You gonna you gonna float now? Hold on, maybe I have to give him some assistance here. Oh, he seems a little more floaty, right? Oh. YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of People Playground, and yes, folks, we're back once again, and today, we are back with some more mods. So, we've got what appears to be a normal little ragdoll here, nothing special about it, except for it really isn't that. It's a mod, it's called the Active Human. So, it reacts to threats, I think it reacts to pain, and I don't really know what else, like, I think it's got a wide variety of, uh, of things but this is like the first ai that we've seen here in people playground or at least i've seen so i've got a gun here check this out i'm gonna go ahead and spawn it and oh oh he's a little alarmed he kind of jumped there so if i grab the gun oh okay i can point it at him <laughs> oh no oh let's fire it off oh he backs up is he Whoa, is he like Area 51 running here? Like he's just kind of got the, uh, the arms. Okay, he's running away. This might be the greatest thing ever. So we have something that's like AI here. I mean, we could always make them run around and do stuff, but you had to tell them to do that. This is gonna make for some fun experiments here today. So if you guys are enjoying People Playground on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and helps out my channel. And if you guys have any suggestions for experiments, comment below. All right, so we have the active one up here. There's an experimental one down here. It might have some, uh, I guess, some extra features here. Let's go and spawn that one in and whoa. Wait, this one follows the cursor. <laughs> that's kind of cool and oh, and I kind of make him dance a little bit, that's good. So do you react to syringes is the question. Maybe he's afraid of shots. I mean, I don't like shots. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the zombie syringe here. You like that? Oh, he's just kind of looking down. He looks a little disappointed. So, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in another guy here. I don't know if they're afraid of zombies. That's a good question. So, we got the zombie syringe. Yep, just follow it, follow it, and... Eh. He's just looking down at it, and the other one looks confused like, yeah, that looked like it hurt. So... Are we gonna get a reaction here? By the way, I think it said the update was going to make it to where they interacted with zombies, which would be really cool. Maybe it's in this experimental one, and he's just watching them turn colors right now. Yeah, this is confusing. So, they don't react to that. They react to guns. What about melee weapons? Like, do you like the lightsaber? Oh, they don't like this one. They're actually shaking. So, if I were just to go... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right, let's, uh, let's chop your zombie friend up here. Let's go... Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot he's a zombie. He's a uh, he's still alive. So yeah, they're definitely not reacting to zombies yet. But could you imagine? Why is his head bouncing? Okay, that's freaky. But yeah, could you imagine them running from zombies? You're gonna be able to do so many things with this mod. Uh, let's just go ahead and plant that in there. This is fine. So okay, you don't like the lightsaber. What about like a sword here? See, he doesn't look like he's as threatened there. What if I were to just like poke you here? Like go, eh. Does that, does that make you afraid? Maybe a little harder? Oh, uh-oh, oh no, he just fell down. Uh, you're gonna get yourself back up, hold on. I'll stand you back up, buddy. It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna help you here. By the way, we also have a couple more uh, syringes to play around with uh, that we didn't before. And No, this is fine. I got too many now. I gotta remember which color it is. All right, here we go, buddy. We're gonna give you a little shot here. We're gonna fix your leg, it's fine. You know, I might feel a little bad and ow, that looked like it hit his butt. No, he's good, there he goes. Oh, he's, oh, he just got himself stabbed again. No, this is fine. Okay, here, yeah, let's go ahead and stand you up there, buddy. All right, you are good. Let's get the shot out of your butt. That doesn't look like it feels great. Okay, yank, there we go. All right, so we know they react to that. I guess we've got to see other reactions. You know, the AI already kind of did stuff or the ragdolls did stuff with the fire, so we know that. What about a creeper? Oh, uh, how do you react to that? Oh, wait, I might have spawned in the wrong one here because I don't think he reacted to that one. Here, I'm gonna put you in here. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna stick two of the AI right by the creeper and we're gonna have an onlooker. So we'll have this guy back here. So he's gonna watch his friends get obliterated and we're gonna see how he, he reacts to it. So here we go. Three, two, one, and... Oops. 
Okay. I think I stood him a little too close. Let's build him a blast wall. <laughs> okay, I built him a little blast wall. That way he doesn't get hit. Or at least hopefully he doesn't. We still need to stand him back pretty far. Uh, we're just going to do this with a grenade. So we'll put a couple AI here. Uh, they're playing with the grenade, which obviously is a very, very terrible idea. So let's go. Whoop. Oh, why did he turn away from that? Is he? Oh, maybe he's talking to his friend over here. What do you guys think he's saying? He's probably like, oh, no, we're in a Komodo video. I know what's about to happen. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, activate. Oh, there it goes. Huh. It, you broken, buddy? He, he did not have a reaction to that. Uh, let me see if he's broken. Hold on, let's pull out a gun. Hey. Hey, you. Wait. Oh, they crawl away? Or maybe it's just the way he is. I, I feel like this AI is broken right now. Maybe we should stick another one in here. We'll try you. Okay, are you threatened? Huh? Oh, let's fire us in the air. Okay. I think they're still a little experimental, so... And yep, he's obviously useless. All right, so I've spawned in two. They seem to be active again. So I'm going to see if one of them reacts to the other one being on fire. Because I feel like that might be a thing. So let's get ourselves a flamethrower. You know, do we have a Molotov cocktail? Like, I feel like that needs to be a thing in the game. I've got so many weapons now, it's hard for me to find stuff. There we go. Flamethrower. So, okay. Yeah, they know what this is. They're like, uh... <laughs> Yeah, please no. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, your friend's on fire. Oh, there he goes. He's like, no, I'm going to get out of here. This is fine. And this one. Oh, what the heck? So they seem to react a little bit different when they're on fire. They used to kind of curl up. And this one's taking a little bit. Oh, he's on fire and trying to run. Oh, hold on. I can actually fix this. Uh, does, it, does he not burn? Oh, you know, I think that got rid of them actually burning there. So if I were to stick a normal ragdoll in, I believe it actually burns up. So if I were to go yeet and OK, so they don't quite react the same. I do like this reaction of the default one because it looks a little more realistic, but this guy's good. He's fine. He's just crawling away. He, he doesn't want to deal with this anymore. Oh, and there's his buddy. OK, so that's uh, definitely a thing. So, yeah, it's continuously being updated. Like, I really do look forward to them being afraid of zombies because I've got a lot of scenarios like pictured in my head. But we're going to continue to play with the syringes. You guys seem to enjoy that. Actually, you know what? Out of curiosity, is he afraid of creatures? Like, I've got pyramid head here. Hold on. Let's spawn this one in. Oh, okay, so he's got a weapon. So are you afraid of this? Oh, let's get this one to walk real quick. So I'm going to have you walk towards him. Okay, so he's he seems really confused, actually. He's like, what is this? <laughs> he doesn't really care about the weapon. All right, so let's make sure we spawn in both of them. So that's the experimental one here. Uh, he's staring at the weapon. And this is the normal one here. Okay, so they're not afraid of Pyramid Head, which is a thing. So we'll get this one away. Maybe Siren Head? All right, so are you afraid of Siren Head? He's got some blades. Wait, what is he afraid of? Oh, I haven't even spawned him yet. Wait, they are afraid of him. Huh? It's got to be the blades. That's got to be what they're afraid of. Can I make Siren Head walk? Let's make him walk towards him. All right, ready? No, actually, I don't think he does walk. Huh, that's a shame. Yeah, they're definitely afraid of Siren Head. I, don't worry, buddies. I, I kind of am, too. A siren Head is definitely creepy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be using the normal AI here while we do the syringe experiments. So we'll see what different reactions they might have. So let's go with... Hmm, which one have we not used? Actually, we tried to do this one, uh, the feels from the last episode. And a lot of people said that it was actually like something that helped protect people from shock. So if I were to go, you're injected with... Oh, hold on, let's try it again. You're injected with the feels. Do you love the other ragdoll? Huh? Somebody said maybe they fall in love with each other. <laughs> I don't feel like that's the thing. <laughs> okay, well, I guess uh, I guess we have to check the shocking. Uh, do I have a taser or something? There we go. We got a stun gun. Okay, are you shockproof now? Oh. Wait. I feel like that might have actually worked. Hold on. Let's grab a normal one real quick and try it. So we'll grab this one. Okay, so if I shock this one. Yeah, this one goes down. So I don't know if that was the fills or not. Here, let's grab one more of the normal. This one's not injected with the fills. I know. Huh. Okay, so that's what it does. So the fills actually does, uh, I guess, protect you from stunning. Okay. 
That's a thing. All right, so I've got another fun one here. This is something we didn't try from the last episode. So we have something called the float syringe, which I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what happens here. All right, we're gonna make you float. Yay! Oh, what the heck? Are you gonna are you gonna float now? Hold on, maybe I have to give him some assistance here. Oh, he seems a little more floaty, right? Oh. Uh, yep, he floats. Okay, so maybe we should try multiple float syringes. Hold huh, on, let's go. Let's keep, let's keep it up here. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and try this again. Oh, there we go. So the more I inject, does it make you more floaty? I think it is. Oh, and let's re... Oh, okay, he just flung that one. Oh, this does not look like it's very pleasant. But if you wanted to fly like Superman, you need the, uh, the float syringes. Okay, there's another one. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually affecting him more, but I bet you the other one is just confused right now. Like, okay, that's a power. All right, yeet. And let's go ahead and go to another one here. So let's see, laser reflection syringe. Deflects lasers. Oh, really? So you're telling me if I had a super powered laser, this one would deflect it? All right, this is actually a pretty good one. I, I know that, that might've hurt a little bit, buddy. So let's go ahead and make a contraption here. Uh, we'll get a generator and we'll get the uh, laser out. We'll see if he's, uh, I guess, reflective. All right, so grab one of those. We'll grab one of those. And all we're going to have to do here is hook this up to here. And we are going to freeze this one. So let's go ahead, move this up. No, this is fine. Let's aim it up first. I don't want to aim it directly at him. So we're going to have his buddy on the other side. And his buddy's going to watch his, uh, his friend maybe get obliterated by a laser. We're going to see. So turn that on there. Oh, there it goes. Okay. The beam is going up. I don't know if it's deadly yet. Like, I feel like it's not supercharged enough, but here we go. Uh, oh, turn it, turn it, and what in the, oh no! <laughs> so, wait, I don't remember the generator getting destroyed like that. That's cool looking. Um, his buddy was too close. So he was definitely reflective, but it shot his buddy and it exploded everybody. So that was good though. We know it works. I like these experiments, by the way. Okay, so for our next experiment, somebody wanted to see me just, I guess, attach basically all the syringes together and then set them off. And yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen here because a couple of these kind of like the out of here, like, let me go ahead and explain this one to you real quick. The out of here does this. Give it a sec. Oh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> so. When I put all these together and explode them, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna need to create a contraption here really quick. All right, so we have a bit of a contraption here. So I think really the only thing I need to do is to fire through this. So, okay, I don't need you to move. I think he's standing there. Yeah, this doesn't look very pleasant. So what do you guys think is gonna happen? I have a feeling he's just going to probably disintegrate because this is too much. But we're gonna test this out, so here we go. So let's go ahead and go three, two, one, and fire! Yep, that's about what I expected. <laughs> I told you guys, he was gonna explode. <laughs> He's gone. Wait, where, where did he end up? Oh, what, what? <laughs> He's now a light orb and he's going up to space. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Okay, it's great. No, we're good. <laughs> we don't have to experiment with that anymore. <laughs> so we know what happens when you throw basically all the syringes together. He just, he turns into a light orb and just, he disappears. All right, that's great. <laughs> I don't know how to really top that this episode now. But anyways, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Definitely go check out the AI mod if you wanna have some fun with the people because it's honestly really awesome and I really look forward to it being expanded upon. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.